Welcome to QQ Catalyst. In this video, we will be taking a look at how to apply file tags to your attachments under a specific contact or policy for better organization of documents and images in the Files tab. Next, we can take a look at the Files tab under the Customer. Catalyst will automatically create copies of files for things like receipts for payments taken, policy summaries or policy proposals that are generated by the system, or emails that you have sent out from the system. If you have other images, attachments, or documents that you wish to add to the system, we can come over here to select the files in order to browse the computer. I can click on the green button here for select files, and I can select which files from my computer I wish to have included. If I hold down control on the keyboard, I can select multiple files at once, and I can browse the other areas of my computer. When I have the files selected I want, I can click Open, and they will be added to a list here on the right-hand side. You also have the ability to click on the Select Files option, and you can drag and drop files anywhere on the screen. I can do this with single files at a time, or again, I can select multiple files, and I can drag and drop groups. If I don't use the Select Files option, I can still drag and drop files from other folder locations on my computer or from my desktop. So for example, if I have a document down here on my desktop, I can click and hold and drag and drop it and let go anywhere on the screen as long as I'm under the Files tab on a specific contact or policy. Now Catalyst will keep a running list of the items that I've selected. It does not begin to upload any of these items until I click the Continue option. So if I have selected any duplicates or any by mistake, I can come through and remove some of those items from the list here. When I have the list of items that I wish the system to attach, I can click Continue to begin the uploading process. The spinning circle will indicate that the system is attempting the upload, while the green check mark will indicate that it has successfully uploaded the item. I can click Next if I wish to edit things like the name of the file, the details, the policy association, or any file tagging that we want to do for organization, or I can click Finish. Now that the files have been uploaded, we should see them listed with the other files on the left-hand side. If those files are associated to any policy number in the system, we'll see that listed here on the right. And if they do not have any current policy association, this area will be blank. Now when I select a file, I can click on it here. It'll give me a thumbnail preview of the file if there's one available. I can download a hard copy of this file to the machine I'm working on. I can click on the preview option to get a larger picture of the thumbnail preview or to preview the file itself if it's a PDF or a Word document. We have the quick send option to generate a quick send email and automatically attach this file to the email. I can click edit if I want to change the file name, file description, any file tagging, or the policy associated to the file. I can set this as my avatar photo if I want to use this image as the profile picture on this customer's account in Catalyst, and I can delete the file. Let's go ahead and set this as the avatar photo. You'll notice when I scroll back up that Henry White now has the picture of the flowers that we selected as his profile picture in Catalyst. I can change the image directly from here as well, so I don't need to be on the Files tab and select the specific file. If I want to change this image, I can hover over it and click on the Change Image option, and again it will bring up any of the image files that are attached to this customer's account for me to choose from. If we need to edit the file at all, we can come down to the Edit option. Here we could change the name of the file if we wanted to. We could add any description or notes to the file. I could relate this file to a policy or policies under this customer. And if we needed to create further organization of the files under this customer or policy, we can create a file tag or file tags to assign. If I click in the box for tags, the list of all the file tags that I've added to the system so far will be displayed. And if I want to, I can select an existing tag to assign to this file. When I click Save and I go to Search, I can not only search for what's in any of the columns here as far as the name, the date, the type, who added it, or the policies it's associated to, I can also search based on the tags. And any tags that are currently assigned to a file in this location are going to be displayed so I can easily select them from the list to just narrow down to show me the tags or the files that have those tags assigned. 
If I need to edit tags, I can go back to the edit the file, and I can remove tags or assign additional tags. You can have more than one tag assigned. So if I need to search for anything marked with one tag or anything marked with more than one tag, if we had more than one result, I can narrow those down as well. If we need to add a new tag to the system at any point in time, I can go back into the file I'm trying to edit, and I can begin to type in here. This can also narrow down the tags that I currently have entered, so I can search for a specific tag. But if I find a tag, or if I type in a tag that is not in the system anywhere, I can hit Enter to create that as a new tag that we can then search for. So now if I search for the word animals that we just entered in, we'll pull up the QQ logo that we had assigned that tag to. If I need to remove a tag from the system at any point in time, we can again go into the file that the tag is assigned to, and we can remove the tag from that file. In order to remove the tag completely from the system, it would need to be removed from every file that it's currently associated to in the system. That way when we go back into the file and I go to type that in again, we'll no longer see that as an option that comes up on the list since we've removed that association for that tag from every file in Catalyst.